today you start a company, you're only on the S&P 500 for 15 years on the average. You're MySpace, worried about Facebook, worried about Google+, or whatever's next. The rate of change is fast enough and increasing. Right? I'm going to be saying this over and over again. Today, you either disrupt yourself or someone else will. The only constant is change, and the rate of change is increasing. So this is SU. We're in the middle of Moffett Field, uh, right in Mountain View, next to Google. And we run a number of programs. We run a graduate program. Uh, we have about five to 8,000 applicants each year for 80 spots. Google funds all the scholarships for these students. Uh, and they are the most brilliant students who come to our program for five weeks. They study all the technologies that we're talking about here in a couple of days. And in the next five weeks, their mission is to start a business, a service, a product that has the ability to impact a billion people in 10 years. And that's just extraordinary to say that in the first place, that a company can start that has the ability to impact a billion people in 10 years. So I talk to CEOs all the time. I say, which of your products or services will you dematerialize and demonetize before your competition does? When the application on your phone is so much easier to do the transfers of you know, using blockchain or whatever it might be, we're going to be changing the banking industry and the insurance industry and every industry represented here today. When? Not 20 or 30 years, this decade. And we're going to be heading towards a world where the, billionaire, the billionaire's kid in Manhattan and the poorest child in Africa has the same best education from an AI or the same diagnostician as an AI. There's a leveling of the playing field coming because these things are becoming free and ubiquitous. And when they work the best, they go everywhere. I don't know why the financial industry doesn't get this. I talk about it all the time. I still have not seen one person talking about this. We're talking about five billion new customers who represent tens of trillions of dollars that are not accounted for today in the global economy, entering the global economy in the next five plus years. Right? We're talking about people creating you stuff, selling you stuff, buying you stuff. If these are not your customers, they're your customers' customers.